Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss denotation and connotation. These concepts deal with the way we choose words to express different meanings and opinions. If we want to improve our media literacy, we need to pay attention not only to what people say, but also how they say it. Let's start with denotation. Denotation means the basic definition of a word that you'd find in a dictionary. Both denotation and dictionary begin with the letter D, which may help you remember this concept. Think of denotation as what you're saying with a particular word choice. Let's look at the denotations for a couple of words, cheap and inexpensive. If we look them up in a dictionary, we'll see something like this. Cheap means that something doesn't cost a lot of money. Inexpensive means that something isn't expensive or it has a low price. So the denotations of both of these words are very similar. If I'm going to bring a small gift to a party, we could call it a cheap gift or an inexpensive gift, and the basic meaning would be just about the same. In other words, what I'm saying is the same if I choose either cheap or inexpensive. But even though the denotations for these words are similar, they might not have the same connotations. Connotation means the feelings that we have about a word. These feelings are usually positive or negative. Another way to think of this is how we're saying something instead of simply what we're saying. Let's return to our example of cheap and inexpensive to see how word choice can change how we say something. Cheap has a negative connotation. It gives the feeling of poor quality. If I tell my friend Alberta that I brought a cheap gift to her party, she might be unhappy. Inexpensive, on the other hand, has a neutral connotation. This means it's not positive or negative. It's in between. If I tell Alberta that I brought an inexpensive gift to her party, she shouldn't be unhappy at all. Paying attention to denotation and connotation can improve our media literacy. It helps us recognize when someone is trying to control the feelings we have about a situation. For instance, a group of people watching an event could be described as a gathering. Gathering has a positive or neutral connotation. We use it in phrases such as a gathering of friends. But if someone wants you to have negative feelings about this group, they might describe the group as a mob. Mob has a similar denotation to gathering. They both mean a group of people. But mob has a very negative connotation. It gives a feeling of violence or anger. If you're not careful, the word choice could change your feelings about this situation. To summarize, we've discussed denotation, which is the basic definition of a word. It's what people say. We've also discussed connotation, which is the feelings we have about a certain word. This is how people say something. Next, we're going to play a game about connotation.